Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be showing you how you can set up the player's health and get it displayed on the screen as part of your heads up display. Now if you want to know how this is going to look, if you take a look at the image on the screen you can see exactly what our heads up display is going to look like once it has finished. I have also included this image as part of your project files so you've got a reference you can go back to to find out exactly how your heads up display should look. Today's video is going to focus on the health part so we're just going to be setting up the health bar as part of today's video and getting the heads up display shown on the screen. What we're also going to be doing is showing you how to set up all of the blueprints to have a variable for health and link it to that heads up display. Without further ado guys, let's go ahead and dive straight in and get started. So what you need to have is the latest version of the mech assets folder as within there there is a user interface folder. Within HUD, heads up display, we have all of the graphics we're going to be using for our heads up display along with that reference image. What we're going to be doing is importing these into Unreal Engine and setting up the health part of our heads up display. So let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine and import these. So go to your Met Combat folder and then within here create a new folder and we're going to give this the name User Interface. Open this up and then what we're going to do is select everything apart from the reference image as we're not going to need that and just drag and drop it into this folder to import those graphics in. And what Unreal Engine is going to do with these is simply convert them into a texture that we can use within a widget blueprint. So you can see now we've got textures for our energy, for our health, our background images, our timer and all of that good stuff. What we're going to be doing now is creating a widget blueprint where we can actually put these to use. So if you go into your Met Combat and Blueprints folder, in here I want you to right click and create a widget blueprint. With this we are going to simply give this the name HUD widget as I've spelt it there. And what this widget blueprint is going to allow us to do is take in graphical information to form a heads up display or a user interface element and tie blueprint code to it to allow us to have a little bit of control over how it's displayed and how it's used. So open up this HUD widget and what we're going to be doing is taking a quick look at that reference image to figure out exactly what we're going to need for our health. So our health on this reference image is simply displayed as the red bar in the bottom right. Above it we've got a yellow bar which is for energy which is separate so we're not going to be touching that in this video but you have got a little background image behind the health bar so we're also going to be using that. So let's start off with the background image. Adding an image into a widget blueprint is really straightforward. And if you guys want to learn a little bit more about how you can create blueprints, uh, widget blueprints and user interfaces inside of Unreal Engine, I definitely advise you go ahead and check out my mini series on that. But for now, in your palette in the top left hand corner, get an image and then if you select this, go to appearance and then brush, it's going to ask for an image and this is going to be bars BG right. So if you search for bars, use bars BG right, and it's now using this image. What you want to do with this image is anchor it to the bottom right hand corner so it's going to stick to the bottom right hand corner and then you're just going to scale this image to the size that you're after. And this is where that reference image is going to come into play. If you look at this, you can then roughly gauge just how big this should be. So if you bring it down into the corner, scale it up a little bit, what you should have is something that looks a little bit like this. Don't be afraid to zoom in, get really close and just make sure it's going right up to the corner. But what you should have is a bar that looks just like that. 
If I go ahead and compile this, we should be good. There should be no errors. So what we now need to do is add the actual health bar on top of this. So what we're going to be doing is going back to our palette and this time we are going to be taking a progress bar. With this progress bar, if I select it, we have got a little tab here called progress. Going from zero to one, you can see it fills in blue. But if you look at the image, it fills in red. And we've also got a little border around this. So what we're not going to be doing is using the default fill appearance. Instead, we are going to be setting the fill color and opacity for R, G, B, and A, which is alpha at the end there, equal to one. And instead of a fill color, we're actually going to be using an image. And that's where our style comes into play. So under style, go to our background image and go to the image list. We are going to be using health and then no fill. The no fill is the empty health bar for when the player does not have any health. Set your margin to zero. And then if we go to our fill image, we are going to be using health fill and then set your margin to zero. And now if I move my progress from the left to the right, going from zero to one, you can see our health is going from left to right. And all I need to do now with this progress bar is move it into position. I need to anchor it into the bottom right hand corner and just move it roughly where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is zoom in nice and close and then just scale it to the size that I'm after. Don't worry that you've got the little gap there that I've got around the bar itself. That's 100% fine. It's just the way that the images have been set up. But for me, this looks about right. I've still got enough space for my energy bar to go on top of this. So we still need to get this whole thing displayed on the screen. And what we also need to do is to get this progress bar to link to an actual variable with code tied to it. So that's what we need to set up. So we'll start off by setting up a variable and linking it into this bar. And then we will get this whole heads up display shown on the player screen. So compile this. And for our health variable, we are going to be containing this within our third person character. So for this, go to your variables tab in the bottom left hand corner and create a variable with the name health. We are going to be giving this the variable type float. Hit compile and this is going to allow you to give it a default value. The default value is going to be one. One is going to be representing 100% health. Zero is going to be representing 0%. So 0 0.5 would be 50%, 0 0.3 would be 30%, 0 0.4 would be 40%, and so on and so forth. But because you want the player to start with one health, you know, completely full health, set this to one. So we've got a variable for health. That's all good. If we go back to our mech combat blueprints and HUD widget, what we can now do is link this progress bar into that variable. So create a binding for your progress. So go to progress, percentage, create a binding. What this is going to allow us to do is simply create a function which is going to link blueprints to that variable. So what we're going to do is cast to the third person character and as the third person character we are going to get the health. With that health, hook it up to the return value and for your object, set this to get player character. And what this is going to do now is take your information from your health variable, which goes from zero to one and feed it into this progress bar, which also goes from zero to one. So that's all good. Hit compile and you shouldn't have any errors or issues down in the compiler results below. So the heads up display for our health is all set up. What we now need to do is simply get it displayed on the screen. The way we're going to do this is go to our blueprints, third person character, and then find our code for begin play. And at the end of this sequence here, after we've spawned in the weapon, we are going to be creating a widget 
which is just going to take that widget blueprint and load it onto the memory. The class needs to be the HUD widget. And then afterwards, we are just going to add this to the viewport so it's actually shown. Hit compile and we're good to go. If you're not already in the level one, go ahead and do so. So just go to file, open, and then save selected. Open it up, give it a couple of seconds to load, and then hit play. And what you should have in the bottom hand, uh, bottom right hand corner is your health bar. And if I was to go into my third person character, select my health, reduce that value, hit compile, and play, you're going to notice that will be represented on our health bar in the bottom right. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything for our health system. I hope you have enjoyed it. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.